Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna give you guys hopefully five reasons, maybe more, maybe less. We'll see why you wanna avoid replacing your transmission fluid filter. Very often people think as transmission flu uh, transmission filter it's the same thing as engine filter. Engine oil filter. See right there? People will think it's to, it has the same media or this type of filters, you know what I mean, canister type. Unfortunately, there are two different things. Transmission filter is not an engine oil filter. They work differently, they're designed differently, and they provide different, uh, they serve a different purpose. Transmission filter, as you can see in, in, mo in most newer modern vehicles, uh, this, this part goes up to your uh, valve body inside the transmission and this portion here sir, works as a pickup tube so basically a transmission filter in other different words sometimes is being referred to as strainer pickup tube it works th that way it used as a pickup tube to pick up the oil it's not under pressure it works uh, as a suction so it pulls the fluid from the pan and up so that's why it works different engine oil filter is under constant pressure transmission filters there is no pressure it's all suction it pulls freely so these are the major differences differences between engine oil filter why you wanna avoid changing your filter first of all like I said it works differently and does not get clogged up transmission filter does not filter out small fine particles it's only prevents big large stuff big large chunks of metal or what whatever that could be inside there because it's not under high pressure however there are transmissions that have both this type of filter and spin on filters there's very few manufacturers out there one of them Subaru used to make transmissions when they used to be a real transmissions, not a CVT garbage. Uh, and then pickup trucks. There is two brands of pickup trucks that still use today, if I'm not mistaken, uh, two filters. Regular and spin-on. Spin-on for high pressure side. This is for basically low pressure. It's not even low pressure if it's for picking up the fluid. So that's why you want to make sure you know the difference. Avoid changing your filter if you want to avoid the problems because these filters they never get clogged up because they're not high, like I said, not high pressure filters. If any of you remember back in the days, 90s or so, you see, transmission filter, strainer, very simple. Why are they not using those type of steel cost and when people leave their fluid too long, fluid becomes acidic, corrodes and clogs up the filter and destroys the transmission. That's why they avoid using steel, a metal, mesh, very fine filters. Some transmissions don't even have filters. Because in reality, those this filter will not prevent transmission from wearing, wearing out like engine oil filter. It prevents transmission from failing or basically not failing, it prevents transmission from being destroyed completely when it fails. So it does not circulate big chunks of metal and then sometimes it can crack transmission. You know what I mean? If you don't have this filter and you have a significant amount of wear where you have shavings, that gets between the gears and next thing you know you can crack the case. So your transmission repair can become from $1,500 to $5,000 because now you need everything. The casing, the pump, not just the clutches, you know what I mean, few things to replace. The whole entire thing, the valve body. That's why they use those filters to prevent uh, further damage down the road if transmission stops working. Not to prevent transmission from wearing out. Transmission fluid, that's what keeps the transmission in top shape. That's what prevents transmission from wearing out and failing regular f changes if you want the best protection for the transmission you gotta use synthetic fluid 
quality synthetic, not just a cheap synthetic garbage out there that that does more damage than good. You gotta use quality products. If you stick to the factory fluids, change them 30,000 highway driven. If you tow or haul, replace your fluid more often. Fluid is cheap versus transmission repairs. Why did I end up replacing this filter? Not because I wanted to. There's going to be a video I'm going to show you guys why I ended up replacing it. Otherwise, I would never replace it. And when I was uh, getting uh, washers at the dealer uh, or the gasket, I don't remember, the guy strongly advised me to be very careful when replacing the filters. A reason maybe two or maybe number three. You can end up with expensive repairs when you're replacing your transmission filter. Why? Bolts that hold the transmission pan, they get corroded and get stuck. That's why they he, he gave me a few tips and I will share my other video. And I did listen to this older guy, you know what I mean? Wise guy, smart guy, parts guy, uh, full of respect him, you know what I mean? What he told me how much uh, work they get in from other shops because they start replacing filters, they snap the bolts, they break the bolts, and then next thing you know that the vehicle gets towed to the dealer and dealer start drilling out, tapping, putting new threads and, and the list goes on because now it becomes uh, expensive repair and you out of service. Just like mine, I was out of service on my truck for a week due to the filter basically. I decided not really due to the filter but filter became a secondary thing that led to my truck being out of service for a week because I was waiting for the parts to come in and there was no aftermarket unfortunately so uh, let's cut it open and uh, and go for them see how much garbage is inside there so you guys can see reasons why you don't want to change your transmission filter change your fluid more often people are gonna say I know people are going to say what about the magnets well, the magnets, they'll collect the dirt if you keep the fluid. You know, the dirty the fluid, the more stuff on the magnets. So if you buy a brand new car, replace your fluid after 10,000. Put a fresh fluid in, drain and fill. That's all I do. If you want to do multiple drains and fill, you know what I'm Fill it up, run it five, ten minutes, drain and do it two, three times. That's even better. But drain is fill is at first 10,000 is will prevent accumulation of uh, stuff on the magnets so let's cut it let's cut it open this is a hard plastic by the way not sure what to use how to even cut it open so are you so you, so I can show you guys that you don't have to replace those filters and I guess I want to mention something else uh, if your vehicle is uh, by the way there are cars still today uh, vehicles on the road that require every 30-40 thousand uh, transmission fluid changed and filters. You know what? Those vehicles used for heavy towing and hauling by people and they get half a million miles on the original transmissions. No problems. Why? Service. You know what I mean? Changing your fluid. I'm not sure if people change the filters but I know this guy changes their fluid, the fluid itself every 30 or 40 thousand and he never has problem with the transmissions. Because fluid is more important than changing the filter. But but if you want to change the filter, you're free to do it. But keep remember this thing. If your vehicle is, is uh, older than five years, you can run into some issues. Removing the oil pan, the transmission pan. So keep that in mind. There will be a video I'm gonna show you guys how I ended up and what I what issues I had on my vehicle removing the oil pan. So um, let's cut it open and go from there. So I got the filter cut open. As you can see a lot of black junk there using the Dremel tool because I'm not sure what else you can cut with. So let's crack it open. See how it's holding inside there. It's all glued. Let's see if we can break this apart. So let's take a close look this is the pickup side this is where it would be attached 
towards the valve button transmission. You see the media? So this is what this looks like. Looks like a if you guys remember, maybe still using a uh, vacuum bag. It's exactly the same concept. Fluid enters and then comes out on the sides. Yep. Yep, the filter media is definitely very rough, just like you probably would see. Uh, see the fiber, sure. Definitely nothing like uh, you would find in engine on engine oil filter. Much more rougher and it's designed to flow easily without restrictions. Very interesting. Let's see if we can shake shake some of this stuff off. Let's cut it open and see if we can see on the inside anything. Any metal shavings or whatever. So, not sure if you can see guys, but there is some fine metal specks like a sand paper, like a sand, size of the sand, you know what I mean, it's shiny. When I've drained the fluid, I did notice a little bit there. That's why uh, if you seen my video, well, I was disappointed with the factory fluid, well, this is explains why. You see, this filter was, this filter was never changed actually. It was first time replaced at 225,000 miles. So, is it worth changing the filter? Maybe, maybe not. It depends on the application and what you're using your vehicles for. Would I be changing the filter again? Ah, uh, probably not. I doubt. Fluid is more important. Definitely there's quite, quite, quite few things inside there, metal. And it's probably because the fluid was not changed on a regular basis. Because using a factory fluid past 50,000, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get those metal, fine metal shavings. Can those metal shavings pass through and get inside the valve body? Uh, I doubt because the media is very thick uh, there is no way stuff like this will pass through it's just it's impossible unless unless you know what I mean it's gonna get saturated with those kind of visible sand size particles then maybe will pass through I don't know does it hurt to change it it doesn't hurt but keep in mind, if you're changing your filter after five years, you can run into a lot of issues. A lot of issues removing the bolts on the pen, stripping them. If you never replaced the filter before, you know, watch the videos, uh, watch my videos. I will be explaining, videos are coming. But if you are a person that likes to change your fluid every 30,000 and filter every three years or every 30,000, no more than three years, you know. Does it hurt? It doesn't hurt. Does it, will you benefit from it? It's hard to say. I don't see how anyone can benefit changing uh, the pickup side. If you have, if you have another filter high on the pre high pressure side, then yes, changing that filter will definitely benefits. It's I recommend changing every 30, 40,000. There is no doubt, unless you use using high quality synthetic fluid and you examine and you took it to the lab and you found that. There is no need to change it as often, the filter on the high pressure side, because you're not getting junk there, you're not getting anywhere. Then, yeah, then don't change it.
you know, unless it's recommended or required, not recommended, required by the factory OEM. And again, it depends on applications. It depends how the vehicle is being used. So there is, you know, there is not, no one, one shoe fits everyone, you know what I mean? There's different scenarios, there's different uh, applications, there's different vehicles, different purposes, but changing fluid more often will, will, will uh, make your transmission last long time and trouble free. Changing filter, that's why the car manufacturers don't recommend changing the film unless it's 150,000. But they say don't even change fluid for 150,000. Change fluid more often and you don't have to worry about the filters. Unless you want it, you know what I mean? Would I be changing all my car's filters? No. Fluid, but I would not be changing the filter. And of course, once I hit high, extremely high mileage, you know, 200,000 on some cars, it's really nothing. It's not even high mileage. So, thanks for watching. If you have questions, if, you, if I did not cover something, you know what I mean, uh, just drop me a comment, ask me, and I will reply to you back. And thank you guys for being part of my channel. And uh, otherwise, my channel would not have existed if you guys didn't watch it. So, I appreciate your comments, your questioning attitude, and you guys have an awesome day. Enjoy nice warm weather while you're watching my videos.